Hello all, welcome to Global Tech Hub. Today I am planning to show how to integrate web services in IBM BPM 8.56. Sorry, 8.6. So from 8.5.7 fix back uh, September 2016, uh, there is a change in integrating uh, with the web services. So the latest version of IBM BPM is 8.6. In IBM 8.6, IBM BPM 8.6, uh, I'm going to show how we can integrate with the web services. Let's start. So in common, in a BPM, whenever we want to get the data from external service, we can use the RESTful service or web services, so based web services, to get the data or send the data to external systems. So I have one of the external system that is implemented in a so, uh, Spring Boot. This is exposed as a uh so based web service you can see country repository which is contain the country details this is exposed as a uh, web service so based web service i'm not going to explain much about this uh, i'm just going to run and uh, i will show how it works okay let's run it so this application is started now you can see the port is uh, 8080 it is in my local so let's start accessing the visitor from this so which is contain localhost 8080 web service countries visitor okay it is having uh, um, operation is get country okay so this we are going to integrate in a vpm so before that how it works we will see okay so let's start uh, in a SOAP API. I'm going to create this one as a SOAP project. Uh, sorry. So creating a web SOAP uh, service in a SOAP API, and I will test it. Then same thing we can do it in a BPM that integration. Okay. I'm passing country name as India. And you can see the country details are showing here. So these details we can um, bring into the BPM for the uh, use in a BPM. So through the SOAP based web service. So let's start in a BPM. So this is I have already BPM integration app. Open in a designer. So for this, first of all, we should create a one of the external service. Create external service, Java REST web service. Okay, I'm going to create a web services. So I'm selected as the first option. Click on next. We can do the two ways: web service server or URL. So I will show in our next tutorial how we can do using the web service server. But as of now, I am going to show a URL based one. Okay, we need to copy here uh, the URL, visitor URL here okay select here the url and if you have any security we can select keep the security username password but my service doesn't have any security and i'm going to keep uh, replace the name country service okay uh, click on next it has one operation right i have shown already in a visitor and this is detected in a bpm get country click on next and it will have schema type a uh, country that is business object it is going to convert and currency integer string it is detected and if you want to generate the wrappers that is uh, on top of that get country request get country response uh, is going to generate but i'm not going to do i don't need that as of now so in case of any warnings or errors it will show in a below but I, my service doesn't have any errors there is a one warning and the currency is simple type contain enumeration type but it will not support in a bpm okay uh, that's fine click on next and you can create a service uh, server so here is i will say pro service server okay and just creating if you have any existing service we can use but make sure that this service is running in the same server okay this is external service configuration okay Click on finish and you can see 
the binding details server details is whatever we have created it is and you can see the uh, source this is visual source and you can see the input is name output is country that's fine now let's start we need to create a service flow to integrate this service so create a service flow i can say um, country service integration okay click on finish and from the activities we can take service task as activity okay put it here and we can map it here so the wires i change it so service i can rename the service as uh, call web service okay now select this activity go to the implementation and uh, that select the uh, country service as implementation and it will find the operation name get country and that is contain country uh, port so point one point one okay that is uh, having a you know, visitor that's fine okay so save it now what we need to do we need to map we need to send the data and map it here all right we, whatever the data we get we need to map it here for that we need to create a variables i will say input is country name uh, name yeah and type a string and we will get a country details type as country this is detected uh, through the web service which we have imported uh, through the url right that one i think you remember the schema definition which we generated that step so now come back to the diagram and select this activity and map the input output parameters okay input as country name output is country details okay save it and if you have any header soap header for example if you want to pass uh, authentication through the um, uh, soap header you can uh, specify those but for as of now my service doesn't have anything so i'm not passing anything that's it we have done the implementation uh, we just need to test it so for the testing input we need to pass some details right so oh, i'm passing india as by default value here and save it and run in a debug mode so that we can see the data click on debug and you can see the data uh, expand the data you can see the country name as input and click on next and you can see the finished you can see the country details capital is daily name currency population these details is fetching from the service so those details are uh, presented in a uh, here repository okay so okay these details are retrieving from this external service this is the simple service which is uh, uh, we can integrate so if you want to test another one you can change the name and we can test it again okay so that's it i think uh, it is a simple but uh, from the 8.5.6 uh, um, uh, it is i can say that uh, completely different we don't have uh, um, general systems or integration system uh, services uh, general services or integration services so, uh, in a web version we will have external service and service flow which we need to use in the future also that's why it is a, a, a bit different what we used in a previous versions i hope it will be helpful for someone uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, please subscribe that's it for today see you in the next tutorials thank you